Alrighty. So I'm uh, <laughs> a couple years late, but I'm finally nibbling my way through Grand Theft Auto V. I'm uh, pushing Michael through his midlife crisis. But what I wanted to talk about was kind of, it's a contentious, <laughs> like, it's a big contro a controversy in the Steam Controller world. No, it's a mouse-like joystick. Well, like, for this game, so I'm now using my mouse, and it does this weird, like, it's, yeah, it, like, it doesn't mix mouse and gamepad. It kind of, like, it almost tricks you into thinking that you can, which most of you probably already know this because you've gone through this when the game launched, but I'm out of the loop. So anyways, for this game, mixing inputs wasn't really working, and this game is clearly made for a controller, so I want to hold on to all the controller functionality, like analog throttle, analog movement, analog steering. So... That required mouse-like joystick. Which is always a compromise. Let's hop in here. Now usually... Even I would usually say, don't use mouse joystick. Always try to go with a mouse. If you can. And for certain games, you may even want to just, like, ditch controller support and go all mouse and keyboard. Because you want to be... This, this one's also weird. Yeah, you have to, like, double back out. Let's get away from that fountain. So, all right. First off, usually, you will want to... I'm going to go gamepad. There. The general consensus will be that you would want to push up the game sensitivity in the game and then tweak from the Steam controller side. But through exhaustive testing in this, this particular, just because this game has so many dialed in controller things, that I had to fiddle around with this look acceleration. First person, I mean, this, maybe down the road, I'll probably share this profile and go over, like, you know, take a screenshot of this so you can match, because I got it feeling pretty good. But generally speaking, you you would want to up this pretty far and then tweak in Steam. And I wanted to take vertical down a little bit because you're. This is mostly you know, it's not. It doesn't have a lot of verticality to it, so I generally will crank up the minimum a little bit, but also you'll want to, it's game specific, it really is game specific, <laughs> game specific. And there's some other guys who have made tutorials on this, so I'm not really making this a full tutorial, it's more just, uh, like I'm, I'm just making the case, don't write off mouse like joystick. It can be, it can be functional. It just takes a lot of tweaking. Way more tweaking than any other setting I have ever worked with in the Steam Controller Configurator. You can get it dialed in. You just have to be really, really patient with it. So I did all kinds of little specific things. Like I upped the X output. I upped the Y a little bit. I cranked up that precision on the low end. And I gave it a pretty aggressive custom curve. And I found, I also gave it a edge spin, which that, that's good to have, but really I wish that could be faster. It's always a little too slow for when you want to like move really quick. But that in combination, so now I'm using the gyro for the mouse joystick also. I haven't had any issues in firefights, in the gun ranges, I'm feeling pretty responsive and pretty accurate.
Yeah, like I can... Yeah, I'm feeling... It, it feels pretty good, pretty nice. <laughs> so, as I threaten some random stranger walking down the street. But that's something, too, that I always would... Uh, for a game like this, I would always combine it with the gyro to also be mouse joystick. And mostly the same settings, just a personal preference. The only issue I've had is that it's not, it doesn't let, let me have super fast, quick changes, with, which is mainly that I'm kind of spoiled from using mouse. If you're using a joystick, you can't really spin around that fast either. Well, just for example, like you would normally want to crank all the settings up. So what's happening is when I touch that pad, it gives you like some jitter. It's like a rubber band almost. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Should be good. Yeah, that feels nice. And I, I certainly feel more... more responsive and accurate than if I was using an analog stick. It's just maybe not... Well, it, it, it is clearly not as accurate, as fast, as if I... I just switched over to my mouse. You know, you're not gonna jam it all around. But still, I mean... Yeah. It, it feels really good. And I'm just totally rambling now, but... Hey, it's been a while since I had a nice good old long ramble. Let me repeat myself a couple more times. Mouse-like joystick. It can work. Give it a chance. You just have to be...